Hello everyone and welcome to a Bolt Box Quad and Bolt Box 3800 assembly video. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for buying our product and I'll hopefully help you take you through making one today so you can make sure they're perfect. So starting out, a quad and a 3800 are the same product, they're the same size, same shape, same dimensions. They just have slightly different names and slightly different finishes. The 3800 uses the vegetable inks for a gloss finish on the name and on the, the imagery, whereas the quad in the UK now uses the matte finish with different inks and different print techniques. Okay, so we'll take you through how to build one of these. So you've either got a triple unit of the quad or you've got a single unit of the quad. These are the special editions, they come as ones, whereas the triple unit comes as a three. So I'll take you through this one. You're gonna need your scissors to open it. Hopefully you followed the link on the back of the pack or inside of the pack to get to us today. Just slice this open. Okay, we'll only be building one, but I'll use all three here to take you through it. Okay, so we've got three instructions to follow when building a box. Please recycle this box. Before you start, remember it's only cardboard, so take your time and go slow and steady. It will get bad creases if you don't assemble it properly and, and brush those folds. It's worth taking your time, just those extra few seconds to make a big difference to the finish. Secondly, you've got two different sides. We've got the craft side, which is the smooth, soft, and that's the side you want on the outside. And we've got the test side, that's made up of the recycled material that lives on the inside. So we've got the lattice section, which is this piece that looks like a H. We'll just move these extra ones to the side for now. We've got the base tray section that has the teeth, looks like this. Again, we'll move two of those to the side for now. And then we've got the lid section, that's obviously got all the graphics printed on it. And I'll move these to the side for now. And the rest of this product will be the dividers. And you have, uh, it's eight per box, so two per row. Additional dividers are available. I'll just pop them there for a second. You can dispose of the black wrapping. That's to make sure that when it's delivered to you, it stays free from moisture and any wet damage from traveling or transit to so make sure it arrives to you safely. So you'll see from the board, you've got the craft, sorry, the craft side is the printed side. And you'll see it's got a lovely texture to it and a lovely smooth feel. Inside is the recycled content and the test side. And you can almost see the ripply lines. It's got some speckles and mottles to it. That's because that's the side that's made of the recycled content. We're gonna start by folding and creasing all of the lines, okay? If you take your time folding these before we start, then make sure you get a nice crisp finish when you come to build the box. Okay, when I get to these corners, I'll give them a little bit of a push down. They tend to poke up, so we gotta push them down. Okay, on these corner pieces here, we've got a little witness line that runs in the middle. We're gonna to wanna to fold along that witness line. It seems unintuitive, usually you wanna tuck that inside, but it will really help when we come to getting a nice snug fit of our lid. So we're gonna fold that in half and pull it towards us, so it's sitting at 90 degrees. Just lift it up and then tuck that lid over. Just by giving it a little bit of a fold beyond 90 there, it stops it from falling towards you. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull this side up and tuck that inside, okay? We're gonna to wanna to go nice and steady here. If you squeeze too hard and they're not tucked in properly, you're gonna get a dent somewhere in here. So we wanna avoid that dent, just push those edges in, and then we're gonna push that in nicely in each of those corners, okay? Then we're gonna fold these down, and again, push nicely into the corner there to make sure it tucks in nicely. And these triangle corners will almost lock in place. You can hear that then, lock in place. And we're just gonna push these together to make sure they're in nicely. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it around because we're gonna use our belly here to help us. So we're gonna tuck these together, folding them back like I said before. We wanna make sure they're on line with that fold there. And then we're gonna use our belly to help slide it down to make sure they're locked in place, okay? And as I transition around the sides, we're gonna make sure it tucks over nice and clean. Before we push this straight down, we're just gonna make sure using our finger that it's pushed inside there nicely. Okay, just tuck it into the corners to make sure we get that nice clean locked in place corner of all right inside the inside of the box. And I'll just pop this to one side for you. Okay, the next piece we're gonna to wanna to work on is our lattice. So if we open our lattice out, again, you can see we've got our two sides, the side that has all the lines on it, which is our craft, our test side, and we've got our nice, smooth, lovely finish 
craft side. And again, we want to make sure we've got these craft sides facing out. So you've got these double lines here, which are all pre-folded for you. So these want to become like little castles, and then these other ones want to go the other direction. So we're going to use the castles to go up, and we're going to want to cut those ones down. Okay, so we're going to end up with a shape like this, and I'll just give them a little rock side to side to make sure they're nicely locked in place. Okay, These ones here, we're going to want to break them towards us just beyond 90 degrees, so that when they flex back and the memory of the board holds them back to 90 degrees, and we get our lattice that we're going to push to one side just there. And then we're going to work on this base drill. Okay, again, we want to make sure we've got our craft side facing away from us, the nice smooth finish facing away from us, and you've got the test side facing towards you. You can tell it's the test side because it's got slightly rougher edges, slightly rougher creases, which doesn't matter because that's all going to be inside. The one tip on this one is to make sure you fold all your fingers together, one go first. You want to get a nice fold on those fingers, get them tucked up, and then put the them back down. And much like the lid, we're going to grab this one and we're going to bring it towards us. We're going to get that nice 90 degrees, push those tabs out of the way, and bring that up and tuck it into line. Okay, there's no left or right here, it should go up either side. We're going to again put our fingers underneath, make sure we're not getting any buckles or bends in that board so we get a nice nice easy fold, tuck those back and we've got this sort of tray shape going on. We can then walk our lattice in, okay? So take your time, just slide it all in, you know, kind of caterpillar up and push inside, much like so, okay? And the important part here is to make sure it's all pushed up this way, nice and pushed in place. So the little teeth lock in here, and it will kind of walk its way up there. It doesn't matter if this one bounces out a little bit, we'll get to that one at the end. And then we're gonna bring this edge up, and we're gonna put one teeth, one tooth, there we go, each teeth go in one at a time. Okay, nice and 90 degrees. Everything here is 90 degrees, so they tuck together much like that. Once that first one is in, you can let go of the box, and work our way along, making sure that each one snaps over really nice. These edges are pushed cleanly together and we get nice, beautiful, smooth finished edges for each of the rows. Okay, then we get to the last one. So we're gonna have a bit of a clever bit here. Okay, we wanna get these to 90 degrees, but if we let them go, they're gonna bounce back out. Okay, so the trick here is to hold them up like this and slide the box down your body. Once that's in place, the bottoms are locked in. And we've got a witness line running through here that we're going to want to fold and we're going to tuck through this gap, okay? And this will roll inside so that when we get to this point, these edges are holding this in place. If we push this now, we're likely to get a dent here and here because the bits inside are trying to force back against us. So we're going to roll our fingers inside and push this against itself. Um, See this a little bit here? This is what we want to try and avoid so we don't get a dent. We're just going to roll it in and push it against itself to get a nice clean edge. And we're going to push that over and we're going to push that over to create our full tray. Once you've got a full tray, you can grab your dividers and put them in a row. This box is designed to hold the standard size trading cards from your Magic Gatherings, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Flesh and Blood, any type of standard size trading cards. It will hold 3,800 unsleeved, hence why the 3,800 name. It holds about 2,700 sleeved cards, so you can put your One Piece decks or your other games or other types inside of there. And these dividers help keep the cards separated from each other. They're not designed to be walls or any permanent fixture of the box. They're just there to help communicate what sort of cards you've got in, hold your decks from one to each other. The box is also big enough to hold your Dragon Shield sleeve boxes and your Ultra Pro standard size deck boxes. It could be any brand, but these do actually act as quite nice walls to hold things in place or become additional supports if you need them. But the friction there is more to do with the fit than it is to actually hold them in lines. And you can use the rest of your dividers to fill out. Okay, once that's finished, you can pop your lid on and that nice smooth fit and finish. Thank you very much everyone. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the boxes below and we'll be in touch. Cheers, bye.